Hi, my name is Ville, and I'm the developer of KeyHub. And this is a demo of running ITF patterns on KeyHub using the Tritonberg rule set. So in this demo, we are at the Schedule tab, and we're going to go ahead and open up uh, an operator scoreboard in Area 2. Now here, based on our configuration, it already uh, starts up with the Tritonberg uh, scoreboard. Uh, if it didn't, we would be able to change it here from the top right. And now instead, we're going to also open up an audience scoreboard. So this is what the audience and the competitors and the coaches would see while uh, it's while it's uh, on a TV or a screen or a projector uh, at the area. And what we just saw is the operator, what the operator would see. So here at the top, we have the current pair. Uh, at the bottom is the pair that's coming up afterwards. Uh, and in the middle, the, there are the five score sheets of the judges, one for each judge. Uh, on the right is the scoring situation. So uh, in the beginning, it's uh, five draws as there is no scoring yet. Uh, and there's zero for red and zero for blue. Uh, and let's first go through uh, the setup and what the operator should be aware of when, when uh, running this kind of uh, patterns category. So the most important thing to do is to attach uh, the devices of the judges. So these are, these are phones, uh, tablets also work, uh, that the judges hold on their, in their hands while they're scoring. So we attach them here from the cog menu of each, of each judge. Attach device, and we get a QR code that's different for each, uh, each judge. Uh, and that's going to uh, allow us to attach uh, the given device to that judge's chair. So we would do this for each judge that we have. Uh, and if we don't have all five, uh, we need to uh, deactivate the ones that we're not using. So uh, here from uh, the cog menu again, we do deactivate. Uh, and now in this example, we're gonna use all five though. And now on the left, we have the titles of the two patterns that we're gonna do. Uh, we also have the option to only run one pattern. Uh, so if we want to do that, we can deactivate pattern two uh, from the left here. Uh, but in, a, in an ideal situation, we would run two patterns because if you only just run one pattern, uh, we kind of lose some of, uh, some of the good things that we have in this uh, points-based system because uh, uh, a flag decision might just it might be just as good. Uh, so in this example, we're going to run both patterns. Uh, we also have the choose menu here, uh, and this means uh, we choose a designated pattern uh, for this uh, for this pair. So if we do nothing, pattern won't be an optional pattern, uh, but pattern two will al always be a designated pattern. So if you open up this uh, this menu here, uh, we get the list of possible patterns that can be can be drawn from, uh, and this will depend on the tournament a little bit. Uh, what the actual pool will be, and it, and it also depends on, on what the uh, ranks of the competitors are. Uh, so for example, let's pretend that we actually want to pick from black belt patterns. So we're going to deactivate all uh, color belt patterns from here. And this, uh, the system is seeing that, uh, that both competitors are at least uh, third degree. So it's, so it's uh, activating until Cheon. Uh, this is also something that the system can't fully be aware of. Uh, what is the highest pattern that each uh, competitor knows? So this is something to be uh, just something to be aware of. Where uh, this needs some configuration when uh, when choosing the pattern. And when we hit uh, choose random pattern here, uh, one of these will be randomly chosen. So now we've already done the draw for pattern two. This is not visible to the audience yet. We just did it here uh, for demo purposes. Uh, and from here, we can see which uh, pattern is active. So now that we chose pattern two, pattern two also became active. So let's go back to the beginning and activate pattern one. So now we are at pattern one. Uh, let's see from the audience's side what that looks like. Uh, it's saying optional pattern. Now let's also do a designated pattern for pattern one. We choose one of the third degree patterns like so and that becomes visible immediately when we have uh, the drawdown 
if there's some reason we can't do Yushin, uh, we would choose again. We just take out Yushin and get a new random pattern. Uh, let that be then some ill. And now next, let's go through uh, what the what the judges see on their phones. So let's open up Judge One's uh, device here. The device for Judge One. And here we go. Uh, this is what it looks like when we haven't started yet, or the pattern is still ongoing. So this phase, uh, this is level one scoring. Uh, it's in 0.2 increments of penalties. Uh, according to the current rules, uh, whichever they are. Uh, and whenever this uh, top right and top left button is pressed, we get vibration feedback uh, so that we don't have to look at, uh, look at the phone uh, and each press gives us a 0.2 deduction. So let's give some deductions here uh, as, as an example. Like so, and these deductions are uh, transmitted to the operator in real time. Uh, but the audience doesn't see any of this uh, as the pattern is ongoing. Uh, so here we can see that the operator, uh, the op judge one has scored five uh, until 5.2 and 4.8 for, uh, for red and blue respectively. And now if there were to be a terminal penalty, we would uh, choose zero uh, for that competitor uh, from here or from here. And we are, we're also able to undo the terminal penalty. Now, once the pattern has finished, uh, we'll press next level and we will uh, give scores for rhythm and power uh, like so. So again, we deduct from two in increments of 0.5. So let's do something like, like this. And once uh, we're done with, with uh, this pair, we would say done to signal to the uh, operator's table that we're done with level two scoring. And once we see the large score here uh, as the operator, that's a signal for us uh, that the judge is done. Now let's uh, give each judge some uh, random scores for demo purposes uh, from here, like so. So now in this example, we are done with pattern two, uh, both levels, uh, and each judge has the big score in the middle, uh, meaning that they are done and we're, if we're happy with scoring and there's no problems, uh, we are able to go to uh, pattern two. Now, as we are here uh, and we're in the middle of everything, uh, the audience still can't see, can't see the scores. It's only uh, visible to the operator. And once we're uh, happy that happy that okay we are uh, done with pattern one uh, we're ready to go to pattern two uh, we've chosen our pattern already which we did in the, in the beginning uh, we press activate pattern two here uh, from the right now an important thing uh, is that this advances the judge's phones automatically as well so the judge sees something like this uh, once we're still in pattern one once we go to pattern two. Uh, the phones get reset to pattern two and uh, uh, they in effect get a new scorecard for pattern two. So, so there's uh, no need for the judge to uh, reset anything or go back. And in fact, they, uh, it's, it's not a good thing if they do their, their scores then would get reset. So, so it's important that a judge is to do nothing here in, the, in between. Uh, and now we are in, we're in pattern two. Uh, the audience can see that as well. We're in Chongyang. Uh, and then we would run this pattern the same way as we ran pattern one. And again, let's uh, get some uh, random scores here for pattern two. Here we go. Uh, and now we have a final score here. So uh, the scoring on the right says uh, is showing uh, four votes for red, one vote for blue. So this is a majority. And, and uh, in this example, this, uh, this, would be, uh, this would be the end of the pair. So four votes for uh, red, that was judge four, judge two, uh, judge three, and judge five. Those, those were the, uh, 
uh, where the judges were for, for red and judge one had a higher score for blue. That's why uh, blue has one vote. Now, the next thing we do once we're again uh, happy that there's no problems, uh, everybody has a score a score, uh, we would uh, hit announce result. And what this means is that the audience can see the scoring as well. So let's do that. Uh, and here it is. So we can see uh, on the audience side the total situation and, and, as, uh, and the uh, sum of the sub scores as well. Not, not the, the by level, but the by pattern and by judge. Uh, and the, the final thing to do is to hit on red wins to announce the winner, uh, which will then uh, advance the, the draw to the next next pair. And uh, uh, this the Eva Passion uh, for red and Kaylee Brazier uh, for blue will come up. So let's do that. The final thing to uh, be aware of is that after two patterns, there can be a tie. Uh, so let's put in some random scores here again, and let's pretend that they're tied in effect. If we give random scores, it's very unlikely for it to be a tie, uh, but let's do something like this. And now if we were able, we were to uh, see that it's two for red and two for blue and one draw in this example, even though it's not, we would uh, proceed to a tiebreaker here from the bottom saying activate tiebreaker. Now that tiebreakers are activated, the tiebreaker pattern uh, becomes visible at the bottom row here. Uh, and once tiebreaker is activated, then nobody has any votes anymore. So same thing as with pattern one, patterns one and two, uh, we would first need to choose what the tiebreaker actually is. Uh, so in this example, uh, it's suggesting from Chunji to Chuche, and let's just pick one of them. So the tiebreaker is Po Un. Uh, and again, we would score the same way as we would uh, any pattern. Uh, and let's get some random scores here too. And now in this example, uh, red would be the winner of the tiebreaker. Now, if there were a tie in the tiebreaker, uh, we would have the ability to reset the tiebreaker and rerun the tiebreaker from here. So reset will delete all the scores for the tiebreaker. We would need to choose a new pattern. Uh, we would deactivate pawn because you don't want to do that again. We would also deactivate whatever uh, patterns one or two were, uh, depending on which which patterns the competitors completed and which ones were uh, which, which one was the uh, designated for pattern two. Uh, it's Quebec, and we again get random scores from magically from here, uh, and red would be the winner of this tiebreaker.